What is good YouTube and I hope you're ready to change the way you play NBA 2K23 because I guarantee you will get the easiest blow buys you've ever gotten with this technique in NBA 2K23. This is basically an update to one of my favorite videos in NBA 2K22 in which my opinion the way I I set things up in NBA 2K22 and approached offense changed completely as I developed this method. As you can see right here, this move is very effective for Luka type players, one of those bullies who is very strong, has some quickness to them, has some shiftiness to them, and ability to finish at the basket. But I will show you later on that even smaller players like Trey Young, Kyrie Irving, and guards like Steph Curry will be able to exploit this technique and get to the basket almost every time. Okay, so the setup is very simple. You want to initiate a ride animation between you and your defender, but in this case, it's actually you who's controlling the physicality and setting a contact trap against your defender. Now, as you initiate that ride animation, you want to point the left stick towards the basket, so you're still driving towards the basket, but do not hold turbo just yet. So here, you can see that I will initiate a ride animation. We get that contact animation between Luca and Lonzo Ball, and then hold turbo at the right time, to experience a burst of speed that will break you free from that ride animation. So step one right here is I initiate contact against Lonzo Ball and look at our hand placement right there. I then hold turbo at around this time right here which will let me break free from that physicality which I initiated and I'll get to the basket for an easy two points. So it's really that simple. Walk to your defender, initiate a contact animation and then hold turbo at the right time to break free from your defender and get towards the basket. And this is the importance of why you should invest in speed, strength, defensive attributes, and even badges because it's this easy to get to the basket even against elite defenders as long as you're elite in getting to the basket. And this is all made possible because of this hand fighting animation which you will see right here. As you initiate turbo, you will always get this hand fighting animation which will fend off your defender's off arm if they are defending you through contact. So that little flick of the hand right there is what separates you from your defender and allows you to get towards the basket. And with the way people play defense online, they think that physicality is to their advantage but if you use this method and you're methodical with how you set things up, you will be able to use that physicality against your defenders and punish them for being too aggressive. This is why it's going to be important if you've got a guy like Luka to hunt mismatches on defense. Lonzo Ball's a decent enough defender and you can see here that Luka basically finishes right through him. It's also important for you to learn how to finish in different situations. As you can see right here, a well-timed Euro step avoids the help, the help from Zach Levine and helps me finish at the basket. Now once the help defense keys on this technique, you'll want to finish with your floaters, your different scoop layups, and different types of finishes to make sure that you do not get blocked at the basket. See right there, basically you can see the hand fighting animation which allows us to break through Lonzo Ball's physical defense. So don't panic if your defender gives you that initial bump, ride that contact and then use your physicality and a well-timed turbo burst to your advantage and punish your defenders for being too aggressive. So even guys like Paul George, elite defenders like Kawhi Leonard are at your mercy if you are able to use this technique and set it up methodically. See in this next clip right here against Kawhi, even though I don't get that blow by because I'm able to pin him to my hip, using contact as a shield, I'm able to finish a wide open layup at the basket. And I'm only introducing this technique in this video but you will be surprised at the amount of counters you can use. Now let's say that your defender skied on this move already and is shading you too to you know, stop that penetration. I'm going to show you different types of counters in future videos to show you how you can you know, adjust to the different ways that defenses try to stop you using this technique. And this move isn't exclusive to big guards, even small guards like Trey Young can take advantage of the speed and still break away from contact using guys that have a strength advantage such as Lonzo Ball right here. Again, a decent defender but a well-timed turbo burst allows us to break through that defense and now it's all about finishing with the right layup animation. And this is one of my favorite counters to guys who like to use that ride animation in full court press situations. Now with the update to body up animations in NBA 2K23, you can also use the turbo burst method in situations such as this. As you can see, Devin Booker was crowding Luka Doncic, but a well-timed turbo burst allows us to break free from that physicality and get to the basket easily. So even against elite defenders like Michael Bridges as you will see right here, basically a well-timed turbo burst gives us that fend-off animation and gets us towards the basket very easily. So the decision to defend your, your, your opponent with physicality is going to be something that you have to think about because it's literally this easy to get to the basket. 
So there you have it, one of my favorite techniques in NBA 2K, which completely changed the way I set my offense up. I mean, uh, once you get your defenders thinking about how to stop this move, the counters are endless. They will be at your mercy because you'll be able to dictate the terms of physicality and counter physical defense much easier so long as you've got guys that can finish to the basket and has those strength, speed, attributes that you need in order to execute this technique very effectively. And I just want to show my appreciation for helping me reach 9,000 subscribers. We're just getting started. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.